Okay, um, so just gonna do a quick little video here, <clears throat> kind of show a few couple small things. So um, one thing that I've kind of been seeing is that uh, a lot, a few people have been having a little issues with kind of their controller and kind of having it be a little bit too sensitive or having it kind of drift in certain areas. So one of the things that you can do um, in the Drone Racing League is you can calibrate your Xbox controller if you haven't, <clears throat> uh, or any controller. So I'm just assuming that it's Xbox controller. So how to do that is if we go down to the um, bottom section here, there's an option called Xbox with the controller icon here. So we'll click on that. And we have a couple different options of what we can do. Um, honestly, probably the first thing I would probably say um, is to uh, utilize the just the quick calibration option just to test and see if that's going to work for you first. So from the quick calibration standpoint, it's going to bring up kind of a centralized the sticks. So just make sure that you're not touching any of the controller sticks or anything. And then we're going to press X to calibrate and it'll walk us through. And we just want to move the controller in different areas. Then we'll rotate both controller sticks in different areas. We'll throttle up, test our yaw, test the pitch, roll, the reset button, and it should auto calibrate and kind of tell us a general idea of kind of where we want things to be. Um, so you can see in the top left corner here we have the throttle um, so th again throttle is our left stick so you can see if I'm pressing up on the throttle you can see kind of it as it kind of goes up and kind of sees if it's a max throttle or not so by default um, everything is gonna kind of I have a little bit of a sticky control <laughs> apparently um, but you can see that my you want the yellow to kind of be at the um, max uh, and mid to be uh, the green line uh, to be right there and the yellow to be all the way at the, at the back there and what that means is that there's no throttle at all if I if there's no input um, so it shouldn't be going up shouldn't be going down so when I press up on the throttle we can see that my throttle is going up and it actually continues to go um, yaw wise you can see it's kind of going left or right uh, and there's a little bit of a calibration so it shows that there's an 8% um, shift to the right there so um, same thing with the pitch pitch has a little bit of a shift um, about in 8% shift um, left or right uh, and same thing with roll it goes a little bit so this is an older controller so probably why it has a little bit more of a uh, drift between everything. So I'll save and I'll kind of give it uh, as general idea. Uh, you can also check the sensitivity of the option and this allows you to kind of check and see kind of where uh, everything actually is um, to give you some uh, general statistics of where the throttle is, where the pitch is, where the roll um, and where the yaw is. And you can see in the uh, bottom left hand corner you can see the different categories. So the yaw is in light blue, um, and you can see on the right-hand bottom corner that the drone is actually moving and kind of mimicking what we're doing. The roll is the pink line. So you can see again if I go left or right. The pitch is the yellow line. So you can see how it's kind of going. And then the throttle is up or down is the green line so um, hopefully that kind of helps with kind of going over some general calibration um, one thing that i wanted to do as well is kind of just do a quick fly um, as well just kind of give you a couple of ideas of kind of how to kind of go through a few of these things now um, I am not an expert at kind of flying these, so this, especially in this uh, drone racing league uh, simulator, um, I'm still getting used to kind of flying as well, but it is uh, kind of useful as well. So uh, what I'm going kind to of demo here is kind of going through and going through a couple of the uh, different options that we have. And let's go ahead and do 
um, say like this first one right here, um, mission number eight. Well, let's give this a shot. <clears throat> now, a couple things that I've kind of found that are helpful when you're going through and actually flying is that you're, especially with turning, you're going to be using both sticks. Um, so both the left and the right hand stick uh, to kind of determine how you're going to be moving. So again, the left hand stick controls your yaw. So that's the direction of kind of which way you're facing. And the right hand stick is going to control your roll, whether you're going left or right, whether you're leaning left or right. So this can kind of help with kind of giving you an idea of how to kind of go through. So we'll give this a shot. Um, can't promise I won't need to restart it at least once or twice, uh, but we'll, we'll see how we do. So we'll pass our throttle so I can pitch forward. And we can kind of use both sticks here to kind of help us follow this line, kind of help with the steering side of things. And this should be not too bad. And you know, one thing to note is if you ever get a little stuck, it's okay to slow it down a little bit and back off of the pitch to kind of help orient yourself and get a little bit of stabilization here. So not doing too bad. Um, again, what I'm using, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner is kind of how I'm using the controller. And you can kind of see my control inputs as well. So you can see, you know, how I'm kind of using. So I'm not pitching all the way forward um, with the right hand stick. Uh, it's a little too fast for me, but that kind of gives you an idea. So hopefully that kind of helps. Um, again, not a perfect run, um, but can kind of give you an idea of kind of what to do um, when you're driving. So again, um, with a lot of those turns, it really does help to use both the left and right hand sticks uh, for kind of going through and doing those flights. Um, so uh, let's go back and maybe do one more to kind of give an idea of what else we can kind of do. Um, and so let's try the slalom course. <laughs> The slalom is probably the hardest, um, honestly, even for me, um, for kind of flying along this. So we'll give it a shot. Um, what I'm going to do really quickly is I am going to turn up the sound just a little bit because uh, it does, at least for me, um, I'm a little bit of an audio person, so helps to have a little bit of audio when flying so I can hear. So we're, again, can't promise I won't need to restart a couple times, but we'll see what I can do. So I'm using both sticks to kind of control whether I'm pitching and turning. And that worked out pretty okay. So we're going to try it again. So we're gonna throttle up a little bit, pitch forward. This one's a little bit harder because we also have to use the throttle and you can see I kind of hit a little bit there. And it's okay again to take it a little slower on some of those. So a little slower. But, you know, sometimes slow and smooth is okay. Um, and, you know, it takes a minute to kind of get used to some of those things. So, uh, again, hopefully kind of uh, showing and demoing a couple of these courses, um, kind of showing how to do calibration is useful for you guys. Um, and, yeah. So, 
again, if you do have any questions on things, uh, again, feel free to reach out anytime. Um, happy to kind of go over it. Again, you can kind of see, again, this is how we can kind of check our controller sensitivity. And you can manually change that as well if you want to, um, to kind of adjust. But yeah, hopefully that was helpful. And again, if you want uh, additional tips or uh, you want to kind of set up some time to go over things, feel free to reach out. All right. Thanks.